Okay, hey, uh, Pre-Cal, you guys have a quiz tomorrow. I want to go over a couple of questions for you by way of review just to help everybody get ready for that, okay? Uh, first thing I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to give you four points to plot on a polar coordinate system. I drew a quick little sketch of what that looks like. Of course, you're going to need your printer tomorrow. Uh, it'd be really hard to do without a printer, so hopefully you have that. If not, please message me. Uh, let's talk about some other options, uh, but you might have to delay the quiz in that case. Uh, for example, I'm just going to give you all polar coordinates. I might say something like uh, 2, negative 120, uh, and let's say plot that point, okay? Put an increment on there. I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3. You're going to put on whatever increments you want on your scale uh, there. Uh, put it on the positive x-axis spot, essentially. I'll go out to 2. Remember, that's where you start. Put the 2 go out to 2. Rotate the correct amount of degrees. So this one says negative 120. So that means to rotate in a clockwise direction. Positive angles rotate in a counterclockwise direction. So negative 120. Here would be about negative 90. So I need to go about 30 degrees more. So be somewhere right out here. And then just label it 2, negative 120. All right, that's all you're going to do. You have four of those uh, for the first part of the quiz tomorrow. Okay, uh, another set of questions that you're going to deal with. You'll have about three questions over converting polar coordinates, all right? So I have one example here for you of polar coordinates. We're gonna convert those to rectangular. All right, you need some equations for this. To be able to get your x value, you need the equation x equals rho cosine of theta. And you're just gonna go ahead and put that in your calculator. It'd be the fastest, easiest way to do it. So what I would do is uh, put in your rho value right there, your six cosine of 150, Put that all in the calculator. Uh, the reason we'll do calculators, you don't have a way to do radicals on the quiz tomorrow, so decimals are all gonna be fine. But put that in, uh, it's gonna give you some value, all right? Uh, I don't know what that is, I'm gonna make it up. Uh, I know what it is as a radical, uh, but we'll, let's make it up, let's say it's 12.2. Again, probably not the correct answer, but let's say that's what it is. That's part of your answer. As you convert, your x value is now 12.2. Now to do the y, erase that real quick. You just do rho uh, sine of theta, so it looks the same. Y equals 6 sine of 150. Again, put that in your calculator. Let's say Y equals 36, okay? And again, you're probably going to round it. It'd be something specific. That'll go in right there, 36, and that's your X and Y. And you convert it uh, from polar to rectangular. Now, of course, you're going to go the other direction as well, uh, so I'll show you that next. Okay, so let's go ahead now for the next one and let's convert a rectangular coordinate to a polar coordinate. So the first thing you're gonna do is grab the right equation for that for our polar values. Rho equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. All right, so we're gonna find our rho value here and it's gonna be four plus one, so we're gonna have square root of five, okay? Of course, there's a plus or minus in front of that. When you see that plus or minus, that ought to lead you to an ASTC with this question. Uh, which is also going to lead to a little sketch, okay? The point negative 2, 1 is negative 2 in the x, up 1, so that's somewhere right in here. All right, tells me I'm in the second quadrant. So that gives me a little bit of an idea of how I should find, write my answer, okay? Obviously, you need a theta value as well. Theta equals the arc tangent of, let me make sure I give that to you right, y over x, so 1 over negative 2. So I'm going to use my calculator here and say that the arc tangent of negative 0.5. Put that in, I get negative 26.6, rounding to the tenths, okay? All right, now, I got a negative answer out of that. When I go into my actual problem here, okay, I can pick either the plus or minus square root of 5. Again, use a decimal tomorrow on the quiz. I'm going to go ahead and choose the square root of 5 as positive, which means I'm going this direction. Now, as I rotate, I'm going to be into the second quadrant, so I should be less than 180, but greater than 90. My calculator gave me that negative 26, so I'm just going to add 180 to it. So I'm going to hit plus 180, and I've got 153.4. That's what I need, 153.4 degrees. Okay, that is, it's less than 180, it's greater than 90, that's in the second quadrant, that works. Of course, there are other answers for this, and that's what your other quiz question will look like as well. This may be uh, an answer, and then uh, the next question might say, find another answer for this exact same problem, but make sure theta is negative. Well, that would be uh, relatively easy to do as well. You could say, if you wanted to do that, negative square root of 5, comma. Well, negative square root of 5 is over here, and so then if I want to rotate, 
uh, the, to that same spot, I'm going to use the negative 26.6. All right, that's the those two points are the exact same spot. They just have different names. And so the, that would fit the conditions of the next equation, all right? So eight questions for you. Uh, there's one more to go over. I'll show you what that is here next. Okay, last question of the quiz is gonna look like this. Polar equation, we wanna convert it to rectangular, all right? So use those equations that we already know. Start right here. Converting the row into a square root of y squared, that'll be the easiest way to start. All right, then uh, one thing to note, all right, like we're used to seeing the sine square, a sine of alpha here, but it usually is like y equals rho sine of theta, uh, but there's no rho. So if we were to divide the rho away, the rows cancel, we're left with sine of theta, which is exactly what we have right there. So if you replace the sine of theta, here's your a, you're left with y over rho, all right, and same thing over here b but this time x over rho all right so that's just a quick little uh, tool to use for simplification that we can get used to might see that in class all right uh, we still have rho so we just want to substitute those i'm going to keep this over here i'll write a y over square root of x squared plus y squared plus bx over square root of x squared plus y squared so we've just got the rows uh, away now. It's all X's and Y's. And just to simplify, I would multiply by an LCD common denominator there, of square root of X squared plus Y squared. That'll just get rid of the fractions. It also simplifies the radical over here. X squared plus Y squared equals AY plus BX. That would be your final answer. Uh, you're just kind of doing a little bit of algebra with that step right there. So hope that helps. Uh, these are, are the questions that you'll see on the quiz tomorrow, eight questions. Uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions or you're not sure about one of those. We can uh, work through some of those, but I know you do your best. Uh, it should go well for you, so hope everything is as easy as can be.